Hey guys, it's Brie. I hope you are having a fantastic start to your week. I wanted to talk to you about Seven Surrenders and Two Like the Lightning by Ada Palmer. So maybe you know this and maybe you just totally don't and that's fine. But I love Ada Palmer. Full disclosure. So yes, I am a little bit in love with Ada Palmer. I just have a total lady crush on her. I can't help it. <laughs> if you want to find out a little bit about why, I will link to my Worldcon vlog. But she's basically amazing and funny and just like total goals. Two Like the Lightning and Seven Surrenders are the two books in Ada Palmer's Terra Ignota books. Um, they're a duology set within a larger world where she's also going to be putting in other books basically revolving around this guy named Mycroft Canner. At the start of the duology we basically only know Mycroft in the sense of being a servicer which is basically um, a kind of catch-all for people who are doing maintenance or miscellaneous work, um, kind of errand boys so to speak, to do penance for ills that they've done, crimes that they've done that are so horrible in this society. Um, but the world that this is set in is a utopia wherein Mycroft is incredibly smart and has control of a small boy named Bridger. Bridger is a total mystery. No one knows where he came from. Very few people know he exists. And he has the power to bring things to life. His toys, his ideas become reality. Full-fledged people with their own ideas out of like little toy soldier men. And <laughs> Mycroft, as smart as he is, knows that this is incredibly valuable and knows that Bridger has to be protected. But the world that Mycroft and Bridger live in, while apparently a utopia, also has a lot of construction going on to it. There are a lot of things that are very much artificial, and that's how it maintains its balance. There are automated car services and schedules. People belong to these things called hives, which are basically like, I would call them countries, but you don't belong to a particular territory. Your government isn't bound by limits in that regard. You are kind of tying yourself to an idea of what humanity should be, and that is your hive. But Mycroft is not necessarily the best guy for the job, because while he's extremely smart, he is also extremely dangerous. Too Like the Lightning, when I read it last year, was just one of those books that, like, sent shivers up my spine and like hit all of those beautiful philosophy notes that I love in a story. Watching Ada Palmer construct the world is like watching her play in this own fantastically beautiful little sandbox where she has total control and just kind of does what she wants and everything about it I thought was fantastic. I basically have no end of praise for Too Like the Lightning and I was super excited this year when Seven Surrenders came out. In a sense, what she's doing is pointing at a world where people deny that gender has an influence on them, but yet where it still very much does. And so occasionally there are extreme moments of drama surrounding people's roles. Parentage plays a surprisingly large part. People are what are called gag genes, where if their history and their parentage is so scandalous that they think it won't ever leave that child alone, they seal the entire history of that child, basically forcing that child to become an orphan and be raised anonymously. And that comes into play a number of times. And it plays this really interesting contrast to the philosophical aspect. At times, it feels a little bit like switching back and forth between like a super cerebral television show and then like Dr. Phil or Maury. It's a little interesting. But the drama in her stories, aside from those moments, the actual long-standing drama and suspense that she draws out are so good. I loved every second of this duology. And admittedly, it's the kind of thing that I know I would love from the very beginning. It's philosophical and has historical play and draws on ideas about the city, state, and nationalism and all sorts of good stuff like that that just like 
is a very much like Brie bait. It's extremely abstract at times. So it can be a book that's really difficult to get your mind around. The second book is really, I would say, easier to get into, but only because you have done the legwork of getting through the first one. I think once you get to the like 100 page mark and to like the lightning, you are sold on it if you are going to like it. The characterization of Bridger and Mycroft and the whole cast of characters that surround this story are really interesting. It's a really, really engaging experiment in which Ada Palmer is kind of playing with the idea of identity and gender politics while not trying to describe someone as a man or a woman. So much of how Mycroft Canner, who's writing this as an epistolary novel, is presenting them to you is through that lens, but through a lens of someone who understands masculinity and femininity as something devoid of the physical. So you are not female because you have breasts or a uterus or a vagina. You are female because of the way you respond to certain situations. It's really interesting to kind of see the construct of gender devoid from physicality, which is I think something that at the very least I know I really struggle with at times. As a result, the characters themselves have to be really detailed in their behavior and their mannerisms, the way they believe, and it's clear that Palmer has done this work. It's clear that she has really thought through who these characters are, what is motivating them, how they engage in the broad puzzle and political scheming of this world. It feels like she's doing something new and edgy, and I don't even know that I necessarily think that's true in any given aspect, but there's just something very unique in the way that she approaches storytelling. Moreover, Ada Palmer plays a lot with the idea of the antiquated and the modern. So while there are things like what, are, what she calls set sets, humans whose brains have been augmented to essentially be quantum computers. Mycroft kind of imposes this they, thou, shall, shan't kind of conversation that people don't really use in the modern era. I really liked the way that she blends the modern and the antiquated in this duology. I'm super excited to see what she does next. I am just like, I'm a fan. I've become a fan throughout this duology. So go ahead and let me know what you think of Two Like the Lightning and Seven Surrenders by Ada Palmer. Um, I've tried to keep this relatively spoiler free so that uh, if you've only read one, you can go ahead and kind of have an overview of it uh, as a series as a whole. You know the drill. Uh, make sure to leave comments about what you think about Two Like the Lightning and Seven Surrenders in the comments down below. I am super excited to hear your thoughts because I know this is going to be something you either, I think, really love or kind of just don't get. And <laughs> I am super excited to hear your guys' thoughts on it. You know the drill. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.